as is on top, and the opening. Warning spoilers. Now, the episode opens with Black Beetle still pretty pissed off because Mongol uh, showed up with the War World. Even though they're able to obtain the War World and neutralize the heroes and gain the Crystal Key, they can't use the Crystal Key and they lost half their fleet. And to, you know, add more to the problem, that some of the humans are starting to uh, distrust the Reach, like Gordon Godfrey. While it happens, we have Arsenal, who is, you know, just running around the war world, uh, trying to avoid any of the Reach's uh, soldiers. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why the hell didn't he just show up uh, during the last episode and tell Nightwing that Blue Beetle betrayed them? Well, he has a reason, but it's a stupid reason. Uh, while that's happening, we also have Nightwing and uh, Miss Martian trying to find the team, and uh, also Lex Luthor's Runaways. Yeah, it's officially their name. The episode is very good, and we get some really great action. We get a nice fight with Mongol and Black Beetle. Uh, we get a really nice moment with Miss Martian and Nightwing, where Nightwing is just blaming himself and just thinking that, you know what, I should have just told you about Aqualad. You know, this was my fault, but Miss Martian reminds him that, you know, it's my fault too. Uh, you know, just as you said once, you know, with heroes, we that's what we do. And it's a really nice moment. Um, and uh, really just remind, uh, shows us how far these guys have gone. Um, but I've already talked about this before. Uh, the Runaways are a really cool team. We really get to see how... Uh, how they've improved with controlling their powers. Uh, we also see a little bit of Ty, who uh, acknowledges that his friend has become a member of the Reach, but he knows that, you know, Jaime is not doing this with his free will. The Reach is controlling him. And uh, we also get to see a little bit more of the Light's plan with Deathstroke showing up a little bit later. Um, hopefully we'll find out what their big plan is before this uh, series ends, because there's only like, three more episodes after this. Uh, which I'm still very pissed off about this. Because um, for some reason, Greg Wiseman can't just uh, do his freaking shows in peace. Uh, but still, it's a really good episode. Um, I really can't wait to see what happens next. And uh, hopefully it will not end a cliffhanger. Hope you liked this video. Goodbye.